हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल दिस इज ओलंपियाड मैथ्स फॉर क्लास थ्री एंड फोर आई एम पोस्टिंग सम मोर क्वेश्चंस फॉर ओलंपियाड टेस्ट पेपर्स इन अ हॉल देयर आर एक्स प्लस फोर्टी टू रोज ऑफ चेयर्स ईच रो हैज टू थर्टी चेयर्स इफ एक्स इज ट्वेंटी मोर देन फिफ्टी सिक्स फाइंड द टोटल नंबर ऑफ चेयर्स इन द हॉल Now x is 20 more than 56, or x equal to 56 plus 20 equals to 76. Now total number of rows are x plus 42. So x is 76. Now we'll substitute the value of x here. So we'll get 76 plus 42 equals to 118. Now each row has 230 chairs. That is. One row equal to two thirty chairs. So one one eight rows equal to one one eight times two thirty chairs, or one one eight into two thirty equals to two seven one four zero chairs. So the total number of chairs in the hall is two seven one four zero. So D is the correct option. Revati wrote a number on the blackboard as shown. If it is formed using three different digits, which number could be placed in the blank to make the smallest even number? As shown in the picture, Revati wrote the number eight zero blank. Now there are two conditions in this question. The number should be formed with three different digits, and number should be smallest even number. Now checking the first condition, that is, number should be formed with three different digits. Against all the answer options, we see that option C does not follow the condition, as zero is already there in the number. So we can discard option C here. Now checking second condition, that is. Number should be smallest even number. We see that option B satisfies this condition. As two is the smallest even number left in the given options, so correct option is B. Which of these numbers has a digit greater than five in tens place and lesser than two in thousands place? Now there are two conditions in this question. Required number has a digit greater than five in tens place and lesser than two in thousands place. Now see the table. The conditions are at tens and thousands place. So I have highlighted the digits at tens and thousands place. Now we will check the first condition. Against all the answer options, we see that option A, one, two, three, four, does not satisfy first condition, that is, digit greater than five in tens place, as digit at tens place is three. So we will discard the option A. Now checking second condition against all the answer options, we see that options. A and B follows the second condition. That is, digit lesser than two in thousands place. But already option A is discarded. So option B is the required number which follows the two given conditions. Roja's journey to school by car takes ten minutes. If she rides a bike, her journey will take three times more than car journey. If she goes to school on her bike and returns by car, the total time taken is now journey to school by car takes ten minutes. Now journey to school by bike takes three times more than car, or three times ten minutes. Or three into ten minutes equals to thirty minutes. Now, time taken by her if she goes to school by bike is thirty minutes. 
and time taken by her if she returns by car is 10 minutes so total time taken by her in going and returning from school is 30 minutes plus 10 minutes equals to 40 minutes so b is the correct option janani reads a book in 20 days she reads 16 pages every day for the first 15 days and 18 pages every day for the last 5 days. Which expression do you use to find how many pages Janani read? Now time taken by Janani to read the book is 20 days. She reads 16 pages every day for the first 15 days. So number of pages she reads in first 15 days is 15 into 16 and she reads 18 pages every day for the last 5 days so number of pages she reads in last 5 days is 5 into 18 so total number of pages read by her is number of pages she reads in first 15 days plus number of pages she reads in last 5 days or 15 into 16 plus 5 into 18 so, B is the correct option. Mohan had rupees 1080. After he bought a bag, he had rupees 15 left. Which bag did he buy? So, money Mohan had at first is rupees 1080. Now, money left with him after buying the bag is rupees 15. So money he spent to buy the bag was money he had at first minus money left with him. That is 1080 minus rupees 15 is equal to rupees 1065. So he bought the bag of rupees 1065. That is option D. Correct answer is option D. Pragati was born in 1981. Her sister Sunita was born four years before her and her brother Rian was born nine years after Sunita. In which year were Sunita and Rian born? Now year in which Pragati born is 1981. Sunita born four years before Pragati. So year in which Sunita born is 1981 minus 4 equals to 1977. Now Rian born 9 years after Sunita. So year in which Rian born is 1977 plus 9 equals to 1986. So Sunita and Rian born in the year 1977 and 1986. So correct option is A. Thanks for watching. If the video is useful, please like, share and subscribe.